Alright, here we go. Today, a day in the life of a garrison. So, I might start. Do my garrison. Yeah. Well, we start off here. Go through all these quests. See what I get done. See if I get any big crates of salvage. Hoping to get some, uh, you know, fine dining equipment. Nice. We'll see though. Also, I can save up enough so I can upgrade my barracks so I can get more followers. It's a lot of work. And I wish you could skip the animations here and take a but it is what it is. And we'll just get through it. There it is. Alright, so what I'd like to do after that is pick up my daily quest here. I usually pick up a single player one. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to uh, finding groups and whatnot. Then I head on down to open these crates, see what's inside. Come down here. This could be this could be the day. This could be the day. There, I'm a mage, so make some food. Come on, come on, here we go. Still nothing. Still nothing. Well, it was worth a shot. Alright, so I have some armor upgrades for followers, those are always nice. Hmm, interesting. But the rest of this stuff is crap. Ooh. Not the fireweed. Need the fireweed. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Pleasure doing business now with you. Now that's sorted out. We'll head on over to the inscription place. What do you need? I like the garrisons. They are a nice addition in Warlord's Draenor. If you haven't played Go Warlord, Warlord's Draenor yet, no uh, you're looking at that. What do you need? It's Farmville and World Warcraft. Just kidding, but it can be. It can feel like sometimes you're just playing Farmville and World Warcraft. Sometimes these garrisons take forever. McGraw. Strength. Alright, what's next? Stop at the barn here. Uh, okay, guess I didn't add anything to the war, war mill yesterday. Not a big deal. Hop on this bad boy. Time for the mine. We have to go mining. Something you doing? So I'm not, you know, a huge raider or anything and wow here. So I like to just do looking for raid stuff and Take care of my garrison. Do some do some daily stuff. But I noticed there isn't that much daily quests to do in Warlords. So I've been uh, trying to farm old mounts, and that's always fun. Uh, you can see some of them on my hot bar on the right there. Got the. Uh, Rusted Proto Drake and the Blood Bath Frost Brood Frank yeah, Vanquisher. Those are uh, achievement mounts from Northrend. Uh, ten man Alduar and ten man uh, 
ICC. And they were, you know, spec spectacularly easy to get to level 100, but... Gotta do something at level 100. I'm doing the the garrison here, uh, mostly as a test to see how Warcraft records, and if it records all right, then I'll, uh, you know, do some videos of uh, maybe some PvP or some five mans, world bosses. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. My favorite thing about the garrison is just the ridiculous amount of mats you get. You don't have to look for them out in the world. And I can go mining and I'm not a miner. I have probably like 1200 of each of the ore from the mine. In case I ever decide to level my hunter. He's an engineer. I've played Mage since, well, when I first got Warcraft, I, uh, a couple friends were playing on an Alliance server, so I made a Dwarf Warrior. It wasn't for me. Uh, and then, you know, I got him probably to 50 before I, I stopped playing. At that point, World of Warcraft didn't really interest me all that much. And then, uh, you know, Burning Crusade came out, and I got it, you know, I wanted to try it out. Didn't get very far with the Warrior, maybe only 62. Still on Hellfire when I stopped playing again. So after that, I, you know, I took I took a long break. And I started playing again right before Wrath of the Lich King came. Okay, I didn't have to do anything there. So Wrath of the Lich King, you know, was about to come out, and uh, a friend of mine was playing on the server I'm on now. Uh, he was a Torin hunter. You know, I decided that uh, I'd start playing again. So I made this page. And ever since, every time I play any MMO, I make a mage. I have a lot of fun playing spell spellcaster DPS. And if that's what you like, that's what you do. You know, don't let someone tell you they need a healer and force you into healing. If you don't like healing, you don't like healing. That's all there is to it. I've tried healing and uh, a little bit of tanking. I don't mind healing. I like healing in PvP. Been trying to level a druid for it. I just don't want to level something else to 100. I wasted my free level 90 upgrade on the Hunter. At the time I thought I would uh, play more as Hunter, but I didn't. So anyways, I played, uh, you know, I played this mage before Lich King came out for quite a bit, and then my, uh, and then Lich King came out and I, you know, I'd made what it to 55. And that's when you could start a Death Knight. So I tried Death Knight, and Walk with you. that wasn't for me either. Oh, good. Wrong button. So, went back to the mage. I got to level up through the Outlands with like a hundred Death Knights. Actually, remember finding dungeon runs where there was no healer. 
and it was four four death knights and me and that was fine the death knights you know they just the gear they had was overpowered for where they were and I finally got two Lich King content and uh, had a good time with it it was probably my my favorite of the expansions Then Cataclysm came out. Sorry, just taking a, a sip of my drink. But when Cataclysm came out, I was excited. Ready for a new expansion. Unfortunately, most of my friends had already stopped playing. So, that was a disappointment. But, what are you going to do? Let's see. So they had stopped playing, so it was I was on my own to do Cataclysm. And I, I leveled up through Cataclysm, got to 85 pretty quick. And then it came time to do uh, to get geared. So I could start doing heroics and then do raids. And needless to say, I never made it to raiding. I never made it to heroics in Cataclysm. Every time I'd run a dungeon, what I need wouldn't drop. And that's always a big... It's always a big problem. I mean... Fortunate problem, but you know it's always a problem. Oh, and I quit playing, and I quit playing until the end of Panda. That's when my brother started playing again. He's like, "Oh, you gotta come back to Warcraft." So here I am, back in Warcraft, back in Draenor, and I say it's a good time. Well, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, so what I'm doing here is just trying to sort out what missions to do to give myself the best chance at success. To get more big crates of salvage. Uh, I keep looking at the same ones because I keep misclicking. Oh, here we go. This is a this will be a good one. Um, mind. He can go. Alright, maybe he'll level up. That'd be good. Alright, we got two followers left. Just stick him in here and hope for the best. And again, after I finish, I am just short being able to upgrade the barracks. This happens. This happened for the past like three days, just short of being up being able to upgrade the barracks. Hey, that is what it is. Alright, well, that is uh, running around a garrison and doing bullshit garrison stuff. I think I did everything. Uh, well, next time in World of Warcraft, uh, probably to be handling the daily quest this guy gives you, as long as this goes on, right? And then after that, uh, maybe I'll run some old raids, try to find some mounts, uh, maybe a world boss, five man, we'll see how it goes. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you again. Alright.